Hey everyone, Ash here, and if you're like me, you find the new Star Wars canon to be lackluster and unfulfilling. Journey with me to a galaxy far, far away as we look back at the expanded universe, which filled our imaginations and kept the Star Wars franchise alive for decades before the likes of Rey and Kylo Ren debuted on the big screen. Journey with me into the Legends of Star Wars. The Death Star. With the ability to destroy or severely cripple an entire planet, this super-powered battle station was the pinnacle of the Empire's industrial power, yet still insignificant next to the power of the Force, as proved by Luke Skywalker's one-in-a-million shot, which started a chain reaction that destroyed the station. But how did the Death Star come to be? The initial idea for what would become the Death Star was for a moon-sized battle station called the Expeditionary Battle Planetoid. This concept sprung from the mind of Wraith Sinar, a remarkable engineer who would later design what would become the backbone of the Imperial fleet, the TIE Fighter. Born and raised on Coruscant, Sinar developed a friendship with Willif Tarkin. Tarkin, who believed in ruling through the fear of force rather than force itself, saw the potential in the fear such a weapon would cause. After the rise of the Galactic Empire, Emperor Palpatine commissioned the design and construction of the first Death Star, giving Tarkin full oversight of the project. Tarkin gathered the brightest minds in the galaxy and shuttled them off to live and work in a secret installation near the planet Kessel. At the center of the black hole cluster known as the Maw, the scientists worked to design the fiercest weapons of the Empire. Not all the scientists knew the full extent of what they were working on, however. The Amwadi native Kui Zux believed herself to be working on a mining laser. Once a fully technical schematic for the Death Star was completed, a working prototype of its super laser was built inside the Maw. Without hyperdrive engines, the prototype Death Star was left inside the Maw, with its designers under the protection of Imperial Admiral Natasi Da'ala. Only engineer Bevel Lemelisk was allowed to leave the Maw in order to supervise the construction of the actual Death Star above the planet Despair, where a combination of Imperial prisoners and Wookiee slaves made up much of the hard labor used to build the station. Upon completion, the entire planet of Despair would be the first casualty of the Empire's new weapon. Wolof Tarkin would die with his super weapon, and Lemelisk would be publicly, and painfully, executed for his failure to spot the fatal flaw in the Death Star's design. That wouldn't be enough for Palpatine, but that's another story. To find out more about what happens to Bevel Lemelisk, read Darksaber by Kevin J. Anderson. To learn more about Wraith Sinar and Will of Tarkin, read Rogue Planet by Greg Bear. If you want more Legends content, click the thumbs up or subscribe buttons, or just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Legend.